All right, when we're talking about shoulder health, a lot of factors can impede shoulder mobility. So taking someone like Josh and looking at his shoulder external rotation, we're gonna see that he's limited greatly. I can't really go much further than this and he should have a lot more of external rotation in that shoulder joint. Understanding that it doesn't always mean that that shoulder joint is what's affected. He has an extensive history of cervical spine issues. He has a complete fusion from C2 to T1, which can affect a lot at the shoulder joint, obviously a lot at the neck. So I'm gonna show you an easy drill to go over that'll help with that cervical area. So not only are we getting a little bit of a nerve glide, but he's really focusing on his breath as well during this particular movement. So he's really focused on taking a nice deep breath in and out as he moves into that range of motion. Okay, so he did about five or six breaths with that particular movement, and I'm gonna recheck and see if we have improvement with that shoulder external rotation. And it goes way much further back than we originally started. That's another reason why you need to take a more integrative approach to treatment, or when you've got an issue going on at a particular joint, it may not just be the shoulder joint. It can be a complex issue with the cervical spine, the shoulder. Focusing on an integrative approach is better.